as Catholics, we expect miracles. We uh, even reverence the remnants of many of them, like the Tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Shroud of Turin, the consecrated remains from several Eucharistic miracles. We believe in miracles because we believe God is always active in our midst and doing wondrous things. And so there's always more. And as we approach the scriptures, we also expect to find more there than just the description of things that happen. This episode with the lepers. It's something more than ten lepers getting healed. It's a reminder of God at work in our midst. And then as we look deeper, we even see more in there. Leprosy is a terrible disease. It affects the nervous system so that a person no longer feels pain. They become insensitive to those things that could hurt them. And so the real danger comes from that which they do not perceive. They may inadvertently put their hand on a hot stove, and because they don't feel the pain, they begin to cook the hand. It becomes infected. The infection spreads throughout the whole blood system, poisoning the body. As we see, Jesus often healed lepers. It's a lesson to us because sin is like leprosy. Venial sins are where it starts. I have often called them the Rodney Dangerfield of sin. They get no respect. But they begin to slowly desensitize us to that which could cause us harm. The devil doesn't start with, uh, oh, by the way, why don't you commit adultery this morning? He's going to start with something simple that doesn't even seem to be related and slowly break down our resistance our sensitivity. We see that in the outgrowth of pornography. Pornography sounds innocent enough just looking at images. And that's how it all begins. It begins to desensitize us, to blur those lines, around what is chaste, what is chaste, what is pure, what is wholesome. And after a while, those thoughts may become actions. Maybe a, a personal action, but before long, it's going to grow. This is one of the things we can always say about sin. It will always expect to get more and draw us deeper in. So this lesson about leprosy serves as a good reminder. Don't allow yourself to be desensitized because everybody's doing it. That it's everywhere you look. Learn to recognize it for what it is and protect yourself. Now, the two stories about healing lepers go beyond that. Now, Naaman the Syrian does something that seems really strange. After he's healed, he asks for two mule loads of dirt. 
What's with the dirt? Well, back then, people associated the gods with the territory they were in. And you only worshipped a god in his own territory. Now, he has established a personal relationship with the God of Israel. And so the way he feels he has to live it out is he takes some of Israel with him so that he will always be close to that God. We know you don't have to do that. If uh, our God is with us always. And in our story here, the ten lepers. Now, the nine who didn't return were Jews. They were doing what they were told. They were going to the temple to be proclaimed cleansed by the priests. That's what the law required. But we really know where they went. And our interest isn't in them. It's in the one who came back. Now we're told he's a Samaritan, which means even if he had gone to the temple, he wouldn't have been welcomed there. And he wouldn't have seen that as an obligation. What's important for us is to recognize he recognizes who it is that has healed him. And he has come back personally to thank him. Establishing that personal relationship. And Jesus says, your faith has saved you. Because faith is our personal relationship with God. It is that faith in Jesus Christ that keeps us whole and wholesome and holy. That is part of our defense against what the devil will do in trying to desensitize us. Because when we are in the presence of the Lord, we clearly know what is right and what is wrong. The devil would seek to distract us, to blur those lines. Our response will always be, keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. Trust in him. Follow his teaching. Let him speak to our hearts. It's helpful to know how the devil works so that we can build our defenses. To recognize the many ways he will try to desensitize us. So, study your faith and live your faith.